Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How's everyone doing today? Uh, are you excited for today? So before I jump into what's going on, what's behind me, why I haven't uploaded in what, I think a week? Has it been a week? I think so. I do want to say that if you are new here, uh, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and join the family over here. We have a lot of fun. We do a lot of colorful, creative, fun makeup looks over here. So if you're into that sort of thing, then join the fam down below. You won't regret it. It's a fun time. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. It makes me feel better. All right, so let's talk about my new background. I have a new background now. Um, I'm still tweaking it a little bit. I'm still waiting for some things to come in the mail to spice it up a little bit. But I think what my problem was, why I haven't been wanting to film lately, is because my room is just so boring to be in. Like, I wanted something that was nice and cozy and, like, welcoming and really just warm and pretty and fun. And I just feel like what I had before wasn't it. It was just so white and just too cluttered I feel I don't I can't even explain it how I felt to being in this room but it really like tore down my my motivation like my inspiration to just be in here and just sit and have fun so also I've been noticing that with my makeup looks I feel like my lights washed everything out so much and was just so bright that it wasn't doing my makeup looks justice and I really did not like that so I've been tweaking my camera filming doing all kinds of stuff. I'm actually planning on doing a filming room, how I film my filming setup video pretty soon. Um, just so you guys can see what I'm working with, some changes that I've made. I've made a big change to my ring light. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to tell in this video. But um, yeah, I'm gonna make a video explaining everything that I use, how I film, what I use, everything like that. So. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stop blabbering on. I'm sure you guys didn't come here to hear about my background. I'm sure you came here for this makeup look. So if you like this makeup look and you wanna see how I got it, then go ahead and just keep on watching. Okay, so I am of course priming using my Revlon Candid. Is anyone sick of hearing me say that yet? Cause I am. And I'm taking this all around town. I'm also not doing my eyebrow yet. I'm gonna wait till my eye is pretty much done. Just so I'm not working around the shape of my eyebrow. My eyebrow's working around the shape of my shadow, if that makes sense. So I am first gonna take the shade Blackberry, which I just hit pan on. It's kind of exciting, kind of scary at the same time. And I'm gonna start this the way I always start my makeup looks, just packing this onto the outer corner, just getting my shape. Then I'm just gonna drag that right under here just so when it comes time to do the under eyes, I kind of have like my basic layout. And then I'm just gonna take this up pretty high and then I'm gonna start stamping it. This is gonna just help it blend a little bit better. And then I'm gonna take this same shade and put it on the inner corner as well. I know it looks a little scary right now, but this is the whole trust the process type of thing. So just, just trust the process, okay? Then I'm gonna dip into the shade Tahiti. And I'm also gonna start stamping this just around the edges of that purple. So as of right now, I'm just getting like my colors on, my shape down, and then we'll go back and blend. So don't worry. So the best trick I've learned to blending your shadows is Keep your second shade 50% on the first shade, 50% on your skin, like where your shadow isn't. I don't even know how to explain that. Is that, is that even how you, would it, how you would say that? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, 50% on the first shade, 50% elsewhere. And this is going to give you the best blend and doing tiny little circles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start pulling this shade out. Now I'm not pulling it out all the way to here. We're not doing that today, but I didn't want this shape to be so rounded. I kind of just wanted to like pull it out just a little bit. So that's what we're gonna do here. Not take it so far out. So then I dipped into a different palette and this is my pastels palette. This is by Beauty Bay. 
and this little palette comes in handy so much like if you're struggling in your palettes to find a shade to blend out a deeper shade this is like the palette you need so i'm just going to take this purple shade here on a big fluffy brush and i'm going to start putting that around all of these edges now because it is a pastel shade it is going to kind of take over the second shade that we laid down but i'm going to end up going back in with the same shades that i used anyway and just deepening things up, adding more pigment, blending. I do that with every look. So this is just gonna help us get a nice soft blend. I know it's a little bit difficult to see, but that's because it is a pastel shade, but it does help, it works tremendously. So this is the part where I like to go back in and like I said, just deepen things up, blend some more all that good stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick I'm just gonna speed this part up for you guys because it does take me a minute but I'm just gonna go back in with all the same shades all the same brushes in the same order and just go hard on it okay Okay, so this is like the basic look. It looks insane, I know, but it all pulls together. So what I went ahead and did next was I ended up cleaning up my line right here because I did go in with a yellow base paint and I didn't want the purple to mix with it. So I took a pair of clippers because I don't have anything else and I wrapped my makeup remover wipe around it. And I'm just gonna use that to trace along where I want this cut crease to be nice and clean. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect. I'm just trying to clean up all that excess purple. And then I'll just go back in with my finger and just clean up whatever is left over on the lid. Okay, so for the cut crease, I went in with my Beauty Creations Color Base Primer. This is in the shade Limelight. And then I'm just going to put that all on my lid and where we cut that crease out. And then just go ahead and fill in the rest of the lid. Don't take it all the way to the outer corner. The yellow in the Carnival palette isn't the yellow I was looking for. It's not my favorite yellow. So I went in with my Be Perfect Sunset Horizons palette and I used the yellow from in there. I used the shade Zest, this one. There's two yellows in this palette. I really don't understand why, but there is, I don't know. But this was the brightest one. So I'm just gonna pop that all over that base these bases are amazing they really help a shadow like stick and really pop their perfection i'm also tapping the shade on i'm not swiping it on because i don't want to disturb the product underneath so just light easy taps but look at how much that like made that eyeshadow pop. It does oxidize a little bit, like this side looks a little bit darker than this side, but. So I'm gonna take some more of that Blackberry shade and we're gonna clean up these edges. I always do this every time I do a cut crease. Just makes it look cleaner, more blended. It just looks all around better. I'm going in with Blackberry and then a little bit of Tahiti. And I'm gonna go back and forth with those two shades until I like how the blend looks. Or at least until I can get it as good as I can get it. But I think, I think that's looking pretty good. Yes, okay. So I went ahead and took my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter. This is in the shade Pyro. And I used to do this with all of my looks, like all the time, all my cut creases. I would draw a line of glitter where I did the crease and I'm gonna do that today because I felt like it. So I always say if you're using these to wait for the first layer to dry and then go in with the second one, it just works a lot better. So as I'm waiting for that to dry, 
I'm going to go in with another Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter. This is their glitter gel in the shade Distortion. So we're going to take just a little bit of that glitter. I don't want too, too much. I say that every time, but here I am. <laughs> and I'm going to pat that right on this outer corner. I don't know if you can really see that. I don't know why my camera isn't zoomed in as far as it usually is, but here we are. But we're just going to pat that right on this corner. And while it's still wet, I went in with like a gold chunky glitter that I have. I got these on Amazon a long time ago. And I'm not going to lie, I don't think they're eye safe. I think they're for like nails. But I use this anyway. It has like little stars and little circles in it. Super cute. And I'm just packing that on top. Just to add a little bit of something else, you know? It's not much, but it just, I don't know, it just... It just does something to the look. So then I went ahead and I ended up taking a mixture of the shade Vanilla and the shade Pearl up here. And I used that for a brow bone highlight. I did this on the other eye after my brow was already on, but I don't want to have to like do my brow really quick and then come back and add it. So I'm just going to do it now. Give a little some some. I also kept the under eyes very, very simple. I'm just going to go ahead and do it while we're here. I just went in with Blackberry again. And I brought it almost all the way into the inner corner, but I stopped. And then I went back in with Tahiti and I just blended this out. It'll look better once my base is on and everything is nice and set under here. It's gonna look kind of messy until then. And then I went back in with my Sunset Horizons palette and I took the shade Mirage. It's a super pretty shimmery, like gold yellow shade. And I used that for the inner corner. Seriously, if you don't have this palette, I'm not even sure if they're still selling it on Beauty Bay, but if they are, I would honestly get it just for this freaking shade right here. It is stunning. All right, and then I kept the waterline simple. I just used a black liner and just filled it in. Nothing crazy underneath the eye. Very simple, very basic. That's my life. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my eyebrow on because I look like a weirdo, throw my lashes on. I also line my waterline with my Anastasia liquid liner. This is like my favorite liquid liner in the whole entire world. I did that, so I'm going to go ahead and put on all my little final touches and then we'll come back for the final look. All right, guys, this is the finished look. What do you guys think? I was insanely way too lazy to do my hair, so I just put it up in like a nasty, <laughs> messy bun. Uh, but yeah, this is how it came out. I love it. I think it's so pretty. I don't think I've ever done like purple and yellow together. I don't think. So the rest of my face, everything that I used will be linked down in the description box. Um, I actually did kind of change it up a little bit today. Not by much, but a little bit. And for my lips, I just went in with two products. I went in with Colored Rain Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sugar, and then I topped it off with Anastasia's Liquid Lipstick in Milkshake. I just added this to the center and just like patted it out, left it matte. I didn't want to do um, a glossy lip or anything. I just wanted to keep it nice and matte and keep the focus on the eyes today. So this is what we did. It's what we came up with. I think it came out great. So of course, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. That will be up on the screen. And as always, subscribe if you haven't yet. If this is your first time on my channel and you like me, you like my content, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, that is it for me today. I really hope you enjoyed this look. I know I was kind of like all over the place today, but it was like my first time filming in a while, so just kind of bear with me a little bit. But that's it. I have nothing else to say except I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!